in today's video. It's our mini challenge in the challenge. We're going to be making a tassel and then I'm going to be making a page idea, a tag idea, and an embellishment using cool junk other. And don't forget, we'll get to add some things to our junk kit if we finish the mini challenge. Stay tuned. Hi everybody, it's Julie, and welcome to Friday, Friday, Friday. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, today is Friday, and that means it's our mini challenge in the challenge. This is our mini challenge in the challenge 6.4, meaning fourth week of June. And this is for the June Just Junk Journal Challenge 2021. And we are making a journal out of Just Junk. We do get to add a few extra items, and one of the ways that we can add some items is to make the challenge each Friday. And this Friday, we are making our tassel. And so some of the things that you're going to, you're going to be able to add eight metal items. Okay, remember, I've already added a, an eyelet. So that was one of my um, metal items. And then I have six bulb pins and this large paper clip that I'm going to be using. And I can change out these so items I if also, I need to. The one um, element that I need to do for this journal is I still need to do cool stuff other. So I'm going to make this, um, we're going to make a tassel first. And then I'm going to move on to the page and the tag and the embellishment using cool stuff other so um, I've pulled out some items and so I want you to know that you can add um, let's get our ruler out let's get our ruler out there we go okay and so we can add in 12 and six, so 18 inches of a trim. Okay, so I'm adding in 18 inches of a trim and 18 inches of a trim or a ribbon. So there's 12, actually make this one 24, okay. 24 inches of a trim or a ribbon. So an 18 and a 24. Okay, so that's 24 and 18. And then I'm going to give you some suggestions on some junk that you can use for um, for in your for your tassel. Okay, so one of the the really fun things to use is um, your fabric. So we're still working on that that shirt. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and rip me some pieces of the shirt. So again, remember you get eight pieces of metal, a 24 inch piece and an 18 inch piece of trim. Okay, so fabric. I'm gonna probably want at least a couple of these pieces. And you can cut them if you don't want to rip. Oh, that one's not going to be long enough. I went, I took, I grabbed the wrong, the wrong side of the shirt. Okay. You can see it's going right up to where the sleeve was. Okay, so there's the, the seam for the sleeve. Okay, so that gives me two pieces of that fabric. I have this ribbon. This came from uh, either sheets or a blanket. I think it was a blanket. It might have been towels. Oh, you know what? I think it's towels. I think it's like little washcloths. And it came with this ribbon wrapped around it. 
So I have that. Then remember I have the handles from my gift bag. So those are in there. And I can use my, um, my lace. Okay, so remember this is my lace from one of the other mini challenges. And I'm just going to go ahead and separate it. Okay, and I chose this lace because it had the two different laces on it. I chose it on purpose. Somebody out there found one that has three laces on it. So, there you go. So, just cutting this down. Um, ooh, don't want to rip it. Almost there. I just want to make sure I have enough. So I want the yellow in here. Okay. So then remember we were going through and cutting this off. Okay. So if you are new to this channel um, and you're curious about the challenge, the uh, details video is in the description box down below. And you have, for June, you have until June 30th to finish. And um, several people did their journals in just a couple of days. And um, so that is not unheard of meaning that there is still time. I'm going to go ahead and that's how long my piece is going to be. <laughs> okay. And then um, you can also come back and cut your lace. To be pieces in your journal in your journal in your um, tassel okay go a little bit a little bit longer okay so a couple pieces of flat lace and then from here Okay, so, um, oh, this was broken. I, it fixed itself naturally. But I was actually thinking that this would be really awesome in this, this journal. It was broken. <laughs> uh, okay. cracked me up. I'm like, okay, so this is an old tape measure that apparently has fixed it. Oh no. <laughs> well, I'll be, I'll be taking that apart. <laughs> okay. Ooh, check it out. Look at there. You got something cool. Okay, so um, there's that. And then, so I need to figure out how, how long I want to make. And I don't want to re retie these. So I'm thinking that that's a good place to figure it out. That's a good, good length. Okay, so that is how long I want my pieces. So I'm going to come over here to my... my little, this little piece. And I'm going to end up cutting the 
one piece longer than the other, okay? But that's okay, okay? So I have that piece and I'll have this piece. I've got my fabric. I have my yellow and that gives me some red now I can put this in here or I can save this I think we're pretty I think we've got enough red with that so I can save that for something else it is um, it is just something that we're, we're able to add in this week um, I do want both pieces of green. I do want both pieces of fabric. Okay, so these can go up here because I can use those later. And hmm. yeah, we'll go ahead and put that in there. This is ending up pretty fluffy. Now I, I don't think I need this in here, but this again, this I think this might be cool for uh, like the beach theme journal, and so I'll. See probably save it for that so what I have here I don't know if it's gonna work because this is pretty thick but I have one of the dilly bobbers from um, it holds the net for the little erasers that I like to buy okay so um, yeah I don't know if this is gonna all fit in here but I'll try it because it's pretty, I made it, I, I found a good amount of stuff. So, so I've been saving this trim. It came in Happy Mail and I've been saving it for the, to use it with the Mary Englebright stuff. I think it will be be perfect. Okay. Okay, so it would go like this, and then this would go back on top. Okay, I think I want one of the pearly ones up on the top, I think. So I can still I can still play with this. That's kind of cool. Okay, we're pretty bulky. Oh, you know what? We've got a rose right here. Let's do something. See, it's it's folded over. It's half on one side, half on the other. And that's what's making it so bulky. Bulky. Okay, so let's pull this up and let's see that side's the kind of shorter one so let's go like that okay let's see if that helped oh yeah oh yes that did help okay so there we go and it came down further okay so then this just goes on you can go ahead and Pull it out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually add some glue on here and 
hope that that helps to keep it on. Okay, so we'll put this back on. Oh, you know what? Let's pour the glue in here. There we go. Okay, then figure out how far down we can pull it. Okay, and I'm just gonna hold it right there. So that is my tassel made out of junk and a trim. Okay, junk. This was from the, the gift bag. This was a uh, fabric. This was a broken, <laughs> now it is broken again. Um, tape measure. Our lace from one of our other challenges. And then we got to add a trim. Did you see that? Um, we got to add a trim. So there's that. And I'm going to be able to add that. Okay. So there we go. I love the way this, this looks. I love the way it looks. I think it's perfect for this journal that I've been working on. And now we are going to make our junk, um, cool junk other. I am going to do the same that I did um, before for the, because I wanted to use this in this journal. So um, it will be a little bit different, but we are going to go ahead and use this photo album as my cool stuff other and go ahead and fold that in and we'll fold this one this way. Okay. Okay. And that's going to give us these four or six actually little pockets. Okay, and then we'll stitch it either there or there into the journal. One side will have a flip out. And so that is my page idea. And we'll be able to fill it with tags or papers. Um, so uh, I had a request that we be able to add some more note papers. So yeah. Let's add um, six more note papers into our kit if you are following along and making your mini challenge. You can add six more note papers. They can be assorted. They don't all have to be the same. Um, so there's that. And okay. So I have this really cute image here and I do I have I like that. Okay. Um, okay, so we need to do something to the outside. So one thing that I like to do with these is take something and um, tie it in a knot or cut it. I'm going to cut it and I'm going to staple it on. So there's one thing that we've done. Remember your base needs to be from the item. So the cool junk other and it's my photo album. Okay. And so there's one thing that I've added. And then, oh, we've got this. Ooh, let's add that to the outside, like as a tab, okay? Um,
we'll put it on this one. Or actually, let's cut it in, in two pieces. We'll have two of them. Okay. But I think that's going to make a cute little little tab off the edge. Now it does make it does shrink down our our paper our thing here. Ooh, I wonder if we should do it like this. Yeah, we'll try that. So just the pearls hang out. Okay, so there's that. We'll come over here. We'll put the other one on this side. These will be on opposite sides in this journal. Okay, so there we go. Our little pearlies. Okay, and okay, so there's that. Ooh, that one's going to be on the inside. Hmm. Well, are these pearlies coming off? <laughs> the pearlies come off. It'll be okay. That one. So this is where we have to stitch. Are these pearlies coming off too? They are. Oh, darn. Pearlies off. Pearlies need a place to go. I think they're going to go right here. <clears throat> Okay, they're going to go right there. Okay, so pearl. And, you know, it's better than having them hang around waiting for a place to go, right? Pearls and pearls. So I do also, I have um, these little, I cut these out of the, the calendar and I can go ahead and attach that in there. Okay. It can be a tuck, but mainly it's that it's a decoration here. So we've got our three items attached here, and we'll be able to add items inside these pockets. So things like paint, paint chip. Okay, I'm saving that paint chip though. That one's for my 4th of July thing. Put a little house in there. Okay, so that is my page idea. You have seen me do this before. It's one of my favorite things to do. I have the other photo album also that I use all the time, but I like this one that it had the, the blue and white checked in it, so I, I pulled it out for this, for this one also. Okay, so our next thing is to use our Cool Stuff Other as our base and to make a tag. And we're gonna go with this center one. Okay, because the hole is in the center. Okay, we'll put these aside. And now we have this pretty cling wrap that comes up. I'm going to go ahead and take this sweet little picture. Okay, I did bring, I brought some of the 
I say some because I, <laughs> I found all the, the cutters were all in a pile. It's like they kept ending up in a pile over on the side. Okay, so there's that. There's that. Oops. Okay, so we've got this. Oh wow, who'd have thought that that would fit perfectly underneath there? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this. So this piece can get put on the back like a top tuck or an upside down pocket. Okay, we'll put that in there. Try and center it. So this image came out of one of the desk calendars. There's that. Okay, while we're here, we do have um, I'm just going to cut that. There's a knot in it. <laughs> it's like irritating, but okay, so let's go ahead and I've sandwiched the red trim inside the blue and white to, to hopefully make it easier to go through and it worked you know sometimes those kind of things work sometimes they don't usually they don't work when you're on camera right like as soon as you're on camera things that things just don't work the same okay there we go I'm going to put it that way. Okay. And again, I use my stapler to um, put down my tag topper tape, these things, because the um, it's it's a lot less flush, okay, than a than a knot. Knot takes up way more more room. So we have this sweet little. There's a word under there. Um, one of we made some embellishments. Ooh, I like explore for this one. What do you think? Explore. Okay. And you know I like my stuff up at the top. Okay. I think I'm gonna add that up here, and I'm gonna go ahead and staple it on using two staples because that makes it to me it's more like it's more on purpose and there I really like that now this is really floppy here so um, I'm it's kind of cool but it's bothering me so I'm gonna go ahead and unflop it okay so those will stick together just preference Okay, so we have added some paper here. We can go ahead and add some more. We can, we've got a place that we can put a card or something here. I wonder. It's just not quite. But what I can do is, you know what, I can cut it and then I can use this as a washi on a washi substitute on something because it's not washi paper so it has to be a washi substitute okay so let's go right down here 
Okay, that's going to give me another paper to put inside. And we can just You know what? We could put one in. Yeah, this is what we're going to do. Okay, so we're going to put one in. Okay, so one's going to go in and be glued across. So this is my tag idea. Fancy tag. Okay, so this is going to go right up underneath there down and then this one is going to go on top of it and do you see what's going to happen we're going to have one one page has the pretty stuff going one way and one has it going the other way I think I mean that totally looks like it's on purpose and we still have that place in the back okay so there is our tag idea. And now we are going to work our, on our embellishment idea. Really quick though, I wanna make something um, to go in this pocket. And I'm thinking just taking this, where we've got the cute, we've got the saying, with every rising, sun, rising of the sun, think of your life as just begun. And I can go ahead and put that in here. Okay. You know what? <laughs> would I change my mind? I would. I'm going to go like this. I'm going to turn it into a pocket, of course. Boy, we're going to have to make a lot of tags. But the really cool thing is, is the new digital kit has a lot of tags. So, and that's what I'm going to be, be using. I'm going to be using the, um, the brand new, awesome, summer daisies with the black and white polka dot um, part that ha it has to go with it so I think it's going to be really fun to use that in this Mary Inglebright stuff so here we have another tag made using the calendar okay and I think we'll put it in the middle one Okay, so there. And this one's not going to fit inside here, which is fine. Okay, so now we um, need another, we need an embellishment. And so let's go ahead and grab the tools. Okay, so we need a couple of things. We're going to need a crocodile. We're going to need our glossy accents. I have a bottle cap. Oh, I have those. Um, that was another idea that I had. And we're going to need little pliers. Okay. So we're going to need to hold it. It's, um, it, it's bent naturally. Well, not naturally bent, but. And it's the only one I could find. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna let that, let it go, let it go. Okay, 
So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, put a pull, put a pull, put a hole in the bottle cap using my um, crocodile. So I'm going to go ahead and put it up. Let's see. There we go. Better, better angle. Okay. And there we have our hole. Go ahead and close this back up. Okay, so our little hole. And then we're going to want to fill this with something. I'm going to start with my, <clears throat> my, my hole punch here. And I'm going to try see if we can put this in here okay so I put this in here okay there we go love it okay so we're gonna want to put down some glossy accents I should have made this as our first thing so that um, Okay, and glossy accents also is a glue so go ahead put it in put it down okay if it was flatter be better but it's okay now I'm gonna go ahead and put my bulb pin through um, you can add a jump ring here I'm just we only get so many pieces of metal so I'm gonna put the jump ring or the bulb pin because eventually you would get a bulb pin anyway okay So now you want to put things in here if you have them. I'm going to add a couple of our little painted flowers. Remember we painted these? It uh, was a clear bling and we painted them. Okay, so there's one. I like to use the mini stickers. Um, I don't know if they've been still doing them, but there there were some really cute mini stickers that they had at um, at Michael's. I think I'm gonna put the blue bling in the middle of this. Yeah. I like that. Okay. Um, okay, so from our, we have some red. Oh. I don't, if we had glitter, that would be kind of cool. I'm looking around to see if we have anything that's glittery that would <laughs> might might be happy to lose some glitter in the in the thing. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and fill this with the glossy accents. It's gonna make kind of like a resin charm wood okay 
could put glitter in here. I can't because it's not on my list of... Unless I could find some off of... Okay. So there's that. So there is some glitter on this. Is that... Does it come off? Not really. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> I thought it would be fun. I mean, I do have this whole thing of, of the stickers. But anyway, that, that will do. That will do. That will do. Okay? So this is my embellishment. And we added... The base was the cool stuff or cool junk ether and it's a bottle cap and then we added the paper base and the um, the bling <laughs> can't remember what it was called and the glossy accents so I want to, I want to add something else. What do we have? Looking around on all my all my junk. Look at all my junk. Look at all my junk. Okay, so got more junk over here. Oh, word would have been good. Hmm. This is the the tray of randomness. A tray of randomness. Okay, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to switch out a metal. We have a metal dragonfly. <clears throat> So I will switch out a metal. I will cut the the brad part off. I will put my little dragonfly in here. We did really good. There were no air bubbles. Now we have air bubbles. <laughs> okay, so air bubbles. Pop them. Because they will show up as air bubbles. Okay, so I need to pull one of these out because I used that piece of metal 
And um, remember, you, you get to add eight, eight pieces of metal if you are um, doing this challenge and you finish it. And then anything that you don't use in this part of the challenge, you can add into the kit that you're using. Okay, so this can be really fun. We'll be at, able to add this possibly to the front here. Or I did, I did just find, look at this, look at this. This is from Mother's Day when Tom and I went to Wrightwood. I'm going to add these into my kit. We have a yellow, beautiful yellow ribbon. And look at this B card. Oh my gosh. So darn cute. Little B card. Okay. So I'm wondering. We can go ahead and put a bow on this. Because it's very, a bow would be, I think, very fitting for this theme. So I'll have to think about that if I, if I love it. And if I love it, I will attach it to the, to the base here. But there we go. Okay. Um, and then these, we can go ahead and turn them into charms also. They are just tags. They were from my new cer um, ceramic knobs that I got. And... Um, so you could literally could take one of these and put it on here and you could hang it from something inside. So anyway, I'll add those into my pile of stuff. We're going to let this dry so you'll see this uh, dry probably tomorrow. So that is my embellishment. A bottle cap. Bottle cap embellishment which is our cool junk other. We had cool junk paper and cool junk other. So that's our cool junk other embellishment. Our cool junk other tag where we used part of that photo album. We still have this piece here that we could also, um, you know, let's do something to this because I'm like, should I make a pocket that goes up? Or one from the side? I think we'll go up. Whoop. Let's make sure that we're... Okay. There's that. Okay. So, this little tag that we made... Uh, if we didn't do that, it's too thick anyway. Um, but we'll put a little something in there. Okay, so something can go up in here. Or not. It could be saved for the person that has this journal to put something up in there. Okay, then we are able to open this and we have some writing space inside here. I love that. We also have a place that you can um, have a little something in there. Okay, so that's our cool stuff tag. Junk, and it's from a photo album. Okay, and here's our cool stuff page idea. And so this will hold tags or little journaling cards. Okay, 
and it'll get bound into the journal like there and a card can come in here we added the pearls to the bottom as well as the trim and then we also added this little embellishment here so um, yeah so the little tab coming off the edge so that you know that it's supposed to open there you go cool stuff other okay and we also made our tassel using the trim that I added to the um, for the mini challenge in the challenge as well as the some of the lace but I cut it up so it was smaller so some of the lace that was added at one of the other challenges these were the um, handles on the gift bag and we have a broken tape measure here well now it's broken for sure and a shirt piece of the shirt okay so that is our tag our tag our tassel and let's go ahead it's got this one piece is hanging down a little further than the others cut that off and put it up there added the ribbon from the uh, from the gift bag <laughs> that I just refound it's got napkins in it you guys summer napkins and then um, we used one of these little plastic dilly bobbers from the, um, the, the, the little erasers come in net in them at Target and so, and I saved them. Sometimes like the bath toys, the little rubber duckies, things like that will come in them. So that's what I use to make my tassel. Um, I was going to use a ring and have that be one of my medals. That's why I was like, we need medals. We need medals for, um, for this week. But there you go. I hope. Uh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I think it's going to be a great tassel for this journal. So our little charm is finished. And remember, it's in a bottle cap and I think it turned out really really cute I'm just gonna go ahead and attach it onto my tassel and I want to show I want it to show in the front so I'm gonna just attach it to the front for right now and and I love it okay so that was my embellishment and now it is finished. So glossy accents and you get this beautiful look. I think it's awesome. So um, want to make sure that you remember that all of the Daisy kits and their companions are on sale through Tuesday. They are 50% off and 70% off if you're a diamond or emerald Patreon. Several of the um, emerald Patreons, <laughs> they, um, and diamond Patreons, they saved over $10 um, on their purchases this week <laughs> with the extra 20% off. So that was, that's pretty cool. It's a great perk. And we had a lot of fun at the craft with me. Oh, I should show you what we made um, at the Patreon craft with me. So now remember, I'm out of ink. So my printer printed purple. This is supposed to be that grungy black dot paper. And it has this sunflower image. This was the, um, the opals got the digital for this envelope and this tag so since um, opals got that that meant that everybody had it so then I printed on the inside the collage and that was the emeralds um, their digital 
for this for the last month. We made this little notebook. It has a three three finger tassel and the little doohickeys on the front. It has some of the sunflower plastic doily paper and some pages. Um, I put an envelope in here and so that gave us some pockets and places to put some of the cards. The cards were all from the Sapphire tier, their digital that they received. So each tier receives a digital. The Emerald Patreons, they get two digitals. They get a background digital and then they get a digital that is um, all for, um, again, it's four of the the digitals on one page. You know how I do those. Okay, so and then there was also a pocket back here with another one of the cards. Again, these came from the Sapphire from their digital. So the craft with me ended up being about an hour and 45 minutes. It was a lot of fun. We went over and made this from everything except printing. I, um, I brought the papers and we made it. Okay, and then this was the little tag. And you guys have seen this tag. I'm um, not this specific because again, it printed lavender. But, um, and this one has the sunflower image on it. Okay, it was um, May. This was their May, their May um, gift. So again, it has the digital on the inside because I printed the back back of the page with the background got a little pocket here with some little things inside and again just note papers that we put together and bound it and then this this comes down we come around and around to the side and around and then go around this and this has a two finger tassel on it. And again, we made everything during the craft with me. And um, so that craft with me uh, recording is available for all the Patreons. And um, hopefully you can join us next time. Okay, so that's what we made today. And originally those were going to go in this journal because they were perfect sunflowers with blue with the black um but now they're probably gonna go in something else <laughs> okay so thank you all for being here um don't forget that i i do have a couple of the pages so these are the um the envelope page pages for the The summer daisies digital kit um, there is a full component of black and white polka dots along with these great images I think they're gonna work really good with the um, the Mary Inglebright stuff so find something to celebrate every day don't forget to go watch one of these videos it really does help if you stay on YouTube and go watch another video after this one. Also, what was your favorite? Come back and tell me the answer. Um, that would be, be awesome. And also, one more time, your, you get eight metal, 18 inches of one trim, 24 inches of another trim. And remember, we also got to add six more of the papers okay i've already used one but got to add six more note papers to your to your little kit if you are you doing the mini challenge and the challenge so you got those items and you are to make a tassel using your junk and then the you can use the items that have been your extra items throughout the challenge. Thank you all for being here. Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.